Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. Now, it's typical British weather. It's raining, 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 but that's not gonna dampen my spirits because I have been sent a gift by one of my friends on YouTube, uh, Sandra, from Sandra's Sensations, and she has sent me my very own split cup. I'm so excited to use this. I've wanted one for a very long time and now I'm gonna create a piece using my split cup. So Sandra, thank you so much for your gift. It means the world. I will use this more than once. I'm gonna be using it in a lot of um, a lot of creations coming up. I'm also excited that I'm gonna be working with Sandra and some fellow artists in a uh, collaboration coming up later on in the year. So watch out for that one, more details to follow. So for the meantime, Let's see what we can create. Okay, so today I've decided to use a 40 centimetre round canvas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint all the sides black and see what I can create from there. Okay, so I've got my, my uh, titanium white by Montmartre and I'm using the Winsor & Newton Mars Black. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use those two colours and then I'm going to do black, white, black, white. Um, and then I'm going to use my canvas and just kind of do a, a freestyle pour um, across the canvas. And then I'm going to stretch it out to see what kind of design I can make. The split cup is great because it means that the black and the white don't mix until it hits that canvas. So there's less chance of creating like a grey um tone well that that's the plan anyway so let's see if that works so my paints are quite thick this is like a ring pour consistency you can see there's like a mound upon a mound for each of them okay so i've laid my cup i don't know if you can see there we go White, black, white, black. So just the two colours. Here we go. Sandra, thanks again so much for this cup. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to just literally take the cup of paint and go in for it. I'm just going to swirl it round. I think I'm going to go round the edges. I'm not going to set a straight line or anything. I'm just going to go round. I'm going to cover the, as much space as I can. Okay, go like this. Go in there. I've got quite a lot of paint. I probably didn't need as much paint. But that's okay because I'm going to uh, stretch it out. I'm going to do a little swirl in the middle. Okay. Just finish off going around the edges like that. I just love it like this. Can I just leave it like that and then just see how it dries? Okay, it's really thick. The paint's really thick. Oh, I I love the... So I've never done like a monochrome piece before. Um, I am going to need to stretch it out because I've already painted my sides. I can see the white and the black when they're infusing together. They are going to make like a lighter, cut like a grey colour. Um, yeah, I, I had no set idea on what way I was going to pour out the cup. You know, the, the moment just took over and I just went round the edge, as you saw, in between, just making this, this kind of pattern. I'm not going to touch this. I'm literally going to stretch it out and see what we get from, from this. So, um, let's, let's do it. I'm going to stretch it out. I'm just going to go in like a circular motion, like I would with a ring pour when I'm stretching out a ring pour. Um, I don't want to muddy the lines too much because I want to keep that definition of the white and black so it remains a monochrome design. I'm just going to let this paint drip off the sides. I have painted the sides, as you know, but I'm just going to get that paint over all those edges. And then I'm going to bring that paint back into the middle just so it's got a consistent layer on the top. So because it's quite thick, I want it to dry consistently. I don't want any cracking. Anyway, fingers crossed that there's going to be no cracking. Um, 
Just going to put that back in the middle. Okay. I'm not going to mess with this too much. I'm I'm enjoying this and I I like it as it is. Yep. Okay, guys, here is the wet version. I'm really, really pleased with this. And I think that using the split cup has ensured that the black and white doesn't necessarily mix together when I'm one pouring the um the mixture onto the canvas and then when I'm stretching it out. I did I did stretch it out, but I only did a minimal stretch because the more you stretch and the more those colours have chance to kind of intertwine and, and mix, that's when you're gonna get your grey tones. Now I think I've managed to keep the, the black and white quite separate, which has been good. There's a little bit just here that's going, let's call it light black, because I don't want to admit that that's grey yet. It's light black, right? Yeah, good. I'm glad you agree. So I'm really happy with this piece. Um, I'm going to call it zebra, because it reminds me of a zebra. So let's see how it dries and I'll show you that version next. Do a little close up of the wet version just so you can see those lines and those details. Definitely reminds me of a zebra. And here is the dried version. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's kind of kept the, the design from the wet version. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.